In a year where Americans are anxiously waiting for interest rates to drop, the CEO of the world's largest bank warns they may go even higher than they are today and don't count out a recession. There are two CEOs in this country whose annual letters to shareholders are more widely anticipated than the rest, devoured by people who may not even have ties to the company. One is Warren Buffett and the other is Jamie Dimon. The captain of J.P. Morgan Chase for nearly two decades, Dimon's letter out Monday pours water on investor enthusiasm that the Federal Reserve can orchestrate lower inflation while still growing the economy. Dimon wrote, these markets seem to be pricing in at a 70% to 80% chance of a soft landing. I believe the odds are a lot lower than that. Therefore, we are prepared for a very broad range of interest rates from 2% to 8% or even more with equally wide ranging economic outcomes from strong economic growth with moderate inflation to a recession with inflation, i.e. stagflation. That's what he called the worst case scenario. To learn more about what stagflation looks like, search the term for this article on our website, san.com. You know, I love my country, and maybe one day I'll serve my country in one capacity or another, but I love what I do. Diamond's letter comes at a time when his name is being floated as a possible pick for Treasury Secretary, should Donald Trump win the election. Diamond is not an ardent supporter of Trump. Even if you're a very liberal Democrat, I urge you, you know, help Nikki Haley too. You know, get a choice on a Republican side that might be better than Trump. And is that your view, that it's anything but Trump? I, I would never say that, you know, because he might be the president. And I have to deal with that, too. But more recently in Davos, Diamond praised Trump policies from NATO to immigration to economic growth. And in his letter advocating for U.S. support of Ukraine, he even italicized a Trump phrase. America first. My heart is democratic, but my brain is kind of Republican. <laughs> that brain is thinking a lot about AI of late. He listed it as the most important issue facing JP Morgan Chase. As transformational as the printing press, the steam engine, electricity, computing, and the internet, Diamond wrote, we are completely convinced the consequences of AI will be extraordinary. He says JP Morgan currently employs more than 2,000 AI machine learning experts and data scientists. And his predictions on how it will transform their workforce are ones that ripple throughout the economy. Over time, we anticipate that our use of AI has the potential to augment virtually every job, as well as impact our workforce composition. It may reduce certain job categories or roles, but it may create others as well. He said affected employees would be retrained and redeployed, a task that's also front of mind for tech giants. A group of them, including Google, Microsoft, IBM, and Intel, are aiming to upskill or reskill 95 million workers in the next 10 years whose jobs AI threatens.